So it turns out what I told you before with the wiring diagram and these servos that um, go on here, specifically for the vent mixer, the one that, I mean the inside or recirculation flap, I was a little confused. Uh, I was looking at the wrong thing on the wiring diagram, but it still helped me get to solve the problem. So here we have on the right, the Lexus version of the servo for this. And here on the left is the FJ version. And they do have different white clips. Um, so this one is made for a pin that goes in. This one has a pin that goes out. But I, I'm fairly sure if I look at the mounting, it's the exact same. So I can uh, swap the white part. And as rest, the rest of the housing is exactly the same um, as far as I kind of can see here. So I temporarily plug this one in. This is one that comes from the right over here, right of the air filter, um, cabin air filter. And I'm gonna turn on the car and see if it moves, see if everything comes on correctly. Because the problem before, well, what I encountered was, despite this having a five pin opportunity, a connector, it only has three pins in there. And so this uh, works on a different kind of um, relationship with the ECU than this guy does that has a five wire and five pins. So we are on here, I'm gonna turn us to Gonna get some fan going. I'm gonna turn the fan on for fun. Now I'm gonna push the recirc button. We'll see if something changes here. Yes, we're moving. We're moving. We're moving. Uh, so right now we're on inside air. If this thing were to move like that, we'd be sucking from outside. So oops, something fell down in. Stop! <laughs> A little leaf fell in from outside. I uh, need to clean that out. So, um, when this was on, I had it on and it moved over. We're on inside mode. And so I allowed this guy to move all its way to inside mode. So now I know that piston is in the correct position according to the Lexus computer for inside mode. Uh, let me get that leaf out of there. Where's the leaf? I gotta pull this off pull out the filter, which I don't have a filter in right now. That leaf there, over on that side, probably the one making the noise. And then I'm seeing another leaf at the bottom. Grab that. And let's check around. You can simply turn this back on and listen. Yeah, so that's fine. So let me switch this back and watch the servo move back. So now he's moving to this position and he matches up with this and he's saying he's on outside air mode. After 10 minutes straight of trying to fit the actuator over on the outside of this case and getting screwed in, I'm ready. Right now, it, when I, I swapped out these guys, easy enough, uh, there's just one little tab in there remove it so say you ever replace your servo and does you know the whole assembly didn't come with this got a servo on ebay or something or just the internal parts or whatever you can take this on and off this little screwdriver so now it's on looking in there it's on outside air and i'm going to put this turn this on and see what it's saying because i may have just been getting confused with the way the servos were oriented uh that is saying inside air so i'm going to click this Oh, that didn't sound good. I heard a snap and now it's totally loose from, I wonder if they, they spin opposite directions or something. Oh wait, it came back. Um, so when I went to fresh air it came back but it made a snap anyway, I'm not sure what's happening here um, but I'm gonna look more in this before I tell you more <laughs> so I'm good now well what was happening is see if I can zoom in up in here there's a little lever the w brighter white one connecting to the darker white and I didn't have it in the right slot I was kind of off I was over here 
So it was only pushing it like that. And then when it came back, this wouldn't come back because it wasn't in there to pull it back. So now it's interesting that, um, remember I told you that this, these guys here and comparing the two servos were offset a little on the angle of this flat part. Well, what's that, that has caused is for now when I'm on outside air mode, I'm not full outside air. I am some outside air and some inside air. So it's more of a mix. And is there a way to fix it? Yes. Do I really need to? I mean, when I push the defrost button, it's gonna suck in some of the inside air with the outside. It's fine. I don't really care. I did um, take the snaps, gently pry the snaps and pull this off. And what you have in here is a motor. Okay, and then there's the shaft goes this way and it transfers to a gear that spins this way, a small one, to a little bigger one, and then to a big one here. So if you take this cover off, you can actually pull that gear up and just move it a smidge. So what I would do on the other one is move the gear a few teeth over till the end looked like this in this position and then snap it back down. And then, then you still have the range of motion forward and backward um, as what you're supposed to have. And you just offset a little to match this guy. And then that would solve my problem of bringing this all the way down and closing every time fully. But I'm not gonna worry about that. However, Oh man, I screwed it up again. I forgot to screw this in fully because I was testing it. And so when I flicked it like that, it fell out of the groove again or, or it's moving the servo. So I gotta <laughs> tighten that up and then it'll solve it for good.